Hello, this is the Trade Ideas Market Recap for Tuesday, June the 10th. My name is Barry Anderson, and I'm the moderator of the trading room. This is the address to get into the room, and you can log in as a guest, or you can use your Facebook or your Twitter account to log in. Well, I'm actually getting set to leave on a vacation to Spain, so this was a kind of a short day for me, and I won't be back into the trading room until June the 18th, and there will be no videos until June the 18th. So let's just take quickly quickly take a look at the uh, three stocks that I traded and posted in the room today. The first one was uh, DRL. And DRL, actually this came, uh, we were starting to watch, this, at least I was starting to watch this because of the pre-market activity. Uh, this is yesterday's close at 347 and you can see it got a, as high as 384 in the pre-market. So, so taking a look at this, uh, definitely. And one of the things I, I did mention even before the market started, was take a look at the daily chart on it and you can see that of course this was beaten up it was a nine dollar this is up at nine nine and a half dollars here and then it had a big drop here and a subsequent drop uh, over the next few days and i basically said to the room that if we could get above this spike here which is uh, 447 so that little spike there I thought that it might be a, might be an interesting play. Now, I didn't necessarily uh, think it would go that would happen today. In fact, what I said was I was going to do was just basically put my a broker alert on it to let me know when it happened. So that could have been today, it could have been uh, next week when I when I was gone. But at any rate, what happened is it did actually uh, break today, and you can see it actually happened fairly quickly. So we had had this level here at 418 that it opened at, and a big spike. Uh, the first five minute candle and then back down again and then the next one almost well actually it broke over that 447 right here so here's where I started to watch it and I indicated to the room that we should be watching it and I took the trade at uh, 453 <clears throat> excuse me and I exited half of it at uh, 480 and then I held for a long time remember these are five minute candles and I held for a long time and the market still has a, about an hour to go actually <clears throat> excuse me and I exited on, it tried to break five several times. It broke five here, it broke five here, it broke five here, it broke five here. These are all five minute candles again. And, but again, on this one, this red candle here, I decided I wasn't going to tempt my luck. So I exited the trade at 495. So very nice uh, uh, play on uh, a cheap stock. Uh, uh, what was that? Uh, 27 cents on uh, one half and 30, was, how's my math here? I'm sorry, 40 <laughs> 42 cents on, on the uh, second half. So great return on a, on a very inexpensive stock. So that was the that was the first trade of the day. The second one was a COG, C O G, <clears throat> excuse me, Cabot Oil and Gas, and that did come from my uh, bounce play. And the alert came at 35.09. So the price was right around this area here, and we watched it go down, uh, broke down through the whole number of 35 uh, down to uh, what was a low here at 35.92. And then on this candle here, when it came back up above uh, the whole number, uh, I decided to get into it. Now, by rights, I really should have got into it right around here at 3503. So I was a little bit late. Uh, I got in at 3508. And then on the pop, it looked like it might uh, want to, um, uh, you know, start to... Uh, bounce a lot more and you know obviously we're hoping maybe for an area up here uh, 50 or 60 cents uh, on on this entry anyway but it didn't and it when it started to stall I basically got out of the play at 35.05 and uh, so it took a three cent loss on this one and you can see it actually dropped a lot more and has rebounded a, uh, a little bit but um, again, if you've seen my videos, you know that I'm very quick to exit. If, if when I get into a trade and it doesn't start to work almost immediately, and these are on the five minute candles, then I'm very quick to exit. And I really don't look back. I mean, sure, if this had got, kept going up, if I had exited it right here and then it turned around and gone up, of course, I'm just, I'm human. And I would have, uh, I would have uh, said, well, you know, it's too bad that I did that. But I've just seen it too many times uh, that when if it doesn't work almost immediately, and this is this was I was giving it 15, 20 minutes right here, um, then I'm uh, on a day trade. I'm going to get out. The last trade I got fairly lucky on. Uh, this was uh, RCAP, and this didn't come from uh, me. This is a, another poster in the room, and he thought that uh, R RCAP was an interesting play, and you can see why he said that. Um, right here. 
uh, obviously it had been beaten down. I mean, uh, this high here of 33 and it had got all the way down to uh, just a little below $20 right here. So it looks like it may be trying to come back. So uh, at, at 22.40, it looked like maybe, let me just bring this back again. Um, the high here is uh, 22.39. So on this candle here, so that's a couple of days ago. So thought, well, maybe if it could break above uh, 2040 or get to 2040, it might be an interesting play. So when I saw this, uh, not a bad little pattern. It was not a bad little pattern here and the pullback and then the pop up. So I took the trade at uh, 2040. I uh, almost stopped myself out right here at 2020, but I actually put a, a stop here at 2016. So yes, it was a wider stop. I took less less shares on something like this. This is not a bounce play. So I, you know, not, not other types of trades, I, I, I will uh, sometimes put a lot wider a stop. Uh, a bounce play, I like to have a tighter stop, yes. But in this uh, particular one, I, I was going to put it right to the bottom here. And I got very lucky. I watched this go up like this, and I actually was having some connectivity problems with my computer at the time. And um, I was able to exit on this, on the red candle as it started coming down, I decided to exit the trade at 2050. So, excuse me, nothing, I mean, obviously only a 10 cent gain, but I mean, it could have been a lot worse. It could have just uh, collapsed, uh, well, not not horrible, would have been done 1988, but from 2040, that that's a fairly uh, strong, uh, decline. Now I see it's at 2050 right now. So what I would do is uh, I would be watching this next week, uh, next week, sorry, uh, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, I would watch this because again, if it can hold, if it can hold this area, we've cleared this little area here. Now, so the next one would be 2114, but it may give an opportunity to, to day trade it between, if it holds 2150, between 2150 and 21. And then after that, if it clears that, then, you know, you've got maybe a, a potential swing play in, in the works. So that's it for today. Again, uh, abbreviated day for me. And as I say, I'll be gone until uh, June the 18th. So that, that's when the next video uh, should appear, uh, assuming everything, <laughs> assuming we get back in time at all. So I hope everybody has a great uh, trading, uh, trading week as I'm gone. And uh, again, hope to see you on June the 18th.